right, so my pick, my pick for uh, for this one here, it's a it's a classic, and finally, Minecraft Dungeons. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've been waiting. I've been waiting for a long time for this, and I'm glad that we're finally getting it. Um, and of course, it is. My bad. Let me go back real quick. It is going to be Fable Four. Oh. Um, yes, it is a classic. It's been a long time waiting. I know every fan was waiting on it too. Um, so Fable Four. That's actually my, my my top four. That's my fourth of the most anticipated. Uh, my wife is a big fan of a fable so i know she's looking forward to this she's not like like a hardcore gamer but when it but when it came to like fable that's her thing like she loved fable she she grew up playing fable and whatnot so this is it man so and the what fact, is the, re the release date for this uh right now it just says quarter four 2022 so oh my goodness bro we are gonna have so many titles yeah. to choose from. yeah this is gonna be rough dude Hell yeah, perfect. That's perfect. See, this is why I love Fable. <laughs> so, Snatch. Yeah, it's projected probably late 2023 or even maybe 2024. Yeah, so they pushed uh, it, then they pushed it. But it will apparently arrive before Elder Scrolls 6. Yeah, I oh, believe that. That's good for them, for sales. Yeah, I believe that. 100% I believe that. Yeah, man, it's it's a good it's gonna be a good game. Like we haven't had any gameplay of it or whatever and whatnot, but I'm okay with them pushing it back because Fable One, Two, and Three were amazing pieces of like it was a masterpiece for what it is, right? It, it's it's cartoony, it's funny, and it's an open world that kind of mimics World of Warcraft, but in a single player mode. So it's not it's not really an MMORPG, but it is a open world RPG for the single players. So I think this would be. It's gonna be mint. And I played yeah, Fable it, one, two, and three. It set the bar for storyline progression, man. Like yes. the way that your character developed over time, it was it was awesome. Absolutely. So I think I think it, it works well. And the fact that I think Fable three was the one that you started pretty much as a kid, and then you grew up, right? You yes. were growing up as you go, and you're like, what in the hell am I doing? Like, there's so much shit to do in this game. So and your decisions had impact. You know whether you were absolutely, good or <laughs> absolutely every decision. I want to see that city. So, which one? That city in the background behind the text oh, the of city. Fable. Mm. But that looks huge. I bet you. I bet you it's gonna be. I think that's the same city. It's just made better, right? Better graphics and whatnot. But I think it is the same city because Fable one, one and two, actually, and three, we're all in the same capital. But then you would expand out from the capital. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be. That a one good should one. be on Game Pass too, day one. Absolutely, a hundred percent it will, cause it's it, you know, it's it's a Microsoft exclusive. Right? So, what you got, Gooch? What's your number uh, two? Well, I was just gonna add some more information to oh, your paper. Oh, go for it. Yeah, please. Um, cause I'm just reading, um, reading up on it. It basically says it comes in a form of a developer insider. Nothing that the game will be an open world RPG not an mmo um so it's going to be an, so that's what i'm saying yeah it's not an mmo it's going to be an open world rpg so as such we can expect it to be a game with a large world to explore yet with a strong single player element to it which is you know going with its uh legacy if you will yeah or the fable 4 trademark or the fable trademark uh, which i'm okay with man same i'm okay same. with that like <clears throat> The moment you decide to put this game multiplayer or massively multiplayer online, man, it just opens for so much stuff, man. It opens for marketplaces that are just going to be infested with microtransactions or it's going to get infected with, with hackers, right? You don't know because nowadays like people are like, oh, you can't hack on consoles. Yeah, that's a lie. But you know what I'm saying? Like At this point, I prefer it that way. Why not? If you're going to do a little bit of like multiplayer with it where you can invite a friend and you guys can complete missions together and whatnot i don't have an issue with that you know what i'm saying that that's fine i'm okay with that um also it says fable 4 will take place on another continent oh, oh so they changed it this time no yeah. so going back to fable real quick as you know it's medieval time uh <sighs> obviously you're probably thinking well how are you going to get to other planets and so it says 
it's gonna have to be the other planets are gonna be accessed via a demon door so think portal to another world yeah where i'm okay with that like oblivion nice yep. and then also instead of fables 2 uh muskets and pistols they're gonna be replaced by more swords and sorcery and multiplayer is also expected likely in the form of co-op let's Very go cool. hey i keep talking they keep hearing that's what i'm talking about <laughs> we are influencing gents <laughs> we are influencing yes it's like it's like what happened with rogue we talked about something remember gucci and boom <laughs> Yeah, no, it looks like it's gonna be really good. Oh yes.